Welcome to the OSI Brands Best Practices for Applying the OSI Quad Window and Door System for a flanged window in a recessed opening. There are numerous ways to flash a window into a recessed opening. We will be applying the flashing to the recessed jams with a WRB already in place. First, expose the rough opening by cutting the WRB around the edges and remove it. Then, cut the WRB at a 45 degree angle at the head and side jam joints on each side. Now, temporarily fasten the top flap with a piece of tape. If you are not able to install the window within 24 hours, you will need to secure the free hanging edges of the WRB so it doesn't tear loose in the wind. One of the ways to do this is to apply flashing tape to the edge of the WRB so that it overlaps a minimum of one inch. Then wrap it into the rough opening, securing the WRB to the sheathing. Next, install the corner guards and sill flashing. First, measure the depth of the window frame, not including the jam extension. Then, measure the same distance on the sill of the buck and add a quarter inch, and mark it with a pencil. This will show you where the interior edge of the flashing should be. You'll need a total of four corner guards for this install. Set the first two pre-made corner guards into the rough opening on both sides of the primary jam. Now, place the other two corner guards into the buck rough opening on both sides. Make sure they extend past the buck frame into the rough opening a minimum of one inch. It's important to note that preformed plastic corner guards may also be used. In addition, Corner guards are not required in sill applications when you use OSI brand approved flexible flashing tape. However, recessed openings do require specific steps when forming flexible flashing into the corners. Next, center the primary sill flashing into the rough opening and onto the rough sill, and extend it up each side jam at least 6 inches. Then, make relief cuts in the corners and fold the flashing onto the WRB. Use the J-Roller to remove any air pockets. Now, center the flashing tape onto the buck sill and extend it up each side jam a minimum of six inches. Then make relief cuts in the corners and fold the buck flashing over the primary sill flashing with a minimum two inch overlap. Use the J-Roller to remove any air pockets. Next, Set your shims on the sill, and then set a level on top, bridging the shims. The OSI brand recommends the use of non-water degradable, composite, plastic, or PVC shims, instead of wedge-shaped wood shims. Once they are level, seal the shims onto the sill using OSI Quad Max. Always follow shim schedules and positionings from the window manufacturer's guidelines. The OSI Quad Window and Door System uses a specific method of applying sealant that provides a gasket to seal out water. To accomplish this, apply a continuous 3 8 inch rounded bead of OSI Quad Max to the head and side buck edges to seal the window flange. Applying the sealant on the buck edge rather than the window flange is recommended for easier installation. Apply the bead so it will align with the pre-punched holes in the window's fin. Then apply a discontinuous 3 8 inch rounded bead of OSI Quad Max along the bottom buck edge, leaving a minimum of a 2 inch gap at each corner and every 6 to 8 inches. This provides a way for any water or moisture to drain to the exterior drainage surface. Now, center the window in the rough opening on the shims. Then check the window for level, plumb, and square. You are now ready to fasten the window using the manufacturer's installation instructions. During this process, continue to make sure the window operates smoothly. Remember to tool any bulging sealant flat so it doesn't interfere with future cladding installation. Please remember some manufacturers may require you to install corner guards at the head and side jams. Now it's time to apply the flashing tape to the side jams. You will need to lap two pieces of tape to flash the opening. Start by laying the first piece over the WRB. 
Make sure the side jam flashing covers the exterior corner guards and sill flashing. Make two relief cuts at the sill and head corners. Fold the remaining flashing tape into the opening over the primary jam. Then use the J-roller to remove any air pockets. Finally, apply a second layer of flashing tape to cover the window fin, buck edge, and primary jam. Make sure the flashing overlaps at least one inch. Use the J-roller to remove any air pockets. Next, apply head flashing with pre-cut relief cuts at the head and side jam corners. Fold the remaining flashing into the opening over the primary head jam. Use the J-roller to remove any air pockets. Next, apply a second layer of head flashing to cover the window fin, buck edge, and primary head flashing. Make sure the flashing laps the primary jam flashing a minimum of one inch. Use the J-roller to remove any air pockets. Now, remove the temporary tape holding the top flap of the WRB. Tape both 45 degree corners and head jam with flashing tape or a weather resistant barrier joint tape. Use the J-Roller to remove any air pockets. Finally, you're ready to apply the OSI Quad Foam to the interior. First, shake the can 15 to 20 times. Then screw the can to the applicator gun and open the valve. And you're ready. Apply the foam into the gaps between the window and the framing at the head and side jams. The foam locks out air and water and won't bow or deform the window frame. When applying foam to the sill, make sure you leave an air gap between the window fin and the foam to allow for drainage. A backer rod can be used to maintain this gap. Be sure to apply a continuous seal with no exposed shims or gaps. After 25 to 35 minutes, trim off the excess with a sharp knife. This cut time can vary depending on the temperature, humidity, and depth of the foam applied. If you would like to become an OSI certified installer using the OSI Quad window and door system, visit ositough.com.